Hi guys, welcome to the Ellen Room. I'm Tony Adon, and today in this episode 3, we are going to connect two lightning nodes running on RegTest using CLN. So let's get started. So we are in the terminal in the lightning repository. We are going to source the contrib script startup rec test that we already uh, used in the previous episode that uh, provide some commands and aliases to, um, to um, spin up a lightning network node running on the rec test locally. So it's useful to, uh, to do some uh, tests. So let's uh, get started. So the first thing we do is to uh, use that uh, command that starts two nodes and uh, Bitcoin D running on a rec test. So while this is running, we can have a look at uh, lnroom.live website where all the, the video and the transcript of the video are, uh, are here. So you can uh, read them if, uh, if you need, if you want to reproduce what uh, we did. So here's a transcript with uh, all the, um, the command line and the output and also the files that uh, we read. So here we are doing the same as uh, la last time, which is to, to, uh, to, to source the script and to start uh, a lightning uh, network and you can see at the end uh, also some uh, other resources that uh, you can read to go further so let's go back to a terminal so we can see that we have started uh, bitcoin core bitcoin d we have one wallet and we have those aliases so let's have a look to btcli is uh, is an alias for bitcoin dash rec test and we want to see uh, that we are running uh, something so here's the information we have we are on the same rec test at the, the other day one block we have the wallet uh, default that have no thing in its balance so today we don't care about uh, balances because we just want to connect two nodes and we don't need to to provide them uh, coin or to fund them with uh, with coin but anyway so now we can look at the aliases of the l1 and l2 the the node one and the node two so to see i see uh, uh, I like to be transparent and you can uh, really see what uh, what those aliases are. So it's just an alias for Lightning CLI with the, the base directory set. So for node 1 is temporary L1, L1 rec test and for L2 it will be, it is a temporary L2 rec test. So here it is. Another thing that uh, we can do is to, to look that uh, we really have the, the node runnings, so we can grab for uh, the Lightning D instances. So we have two instances that correspond to uh, the aliases that we, uh, we see uh, at the top of uh, the terminal. So here it is. And I want to just uh, tell you how uh, it organized uh, this episode. The, the, uh, it is an episode in two parts. The first that is uh, sh uh, shorter than the, uh, the second, where we learn and you, we see how to connect two nodes. So this is the purpose of the video relating to uh, CLN. And the other part is more a part to, to add, um, to learn a little bit more about uh, JQ and uh, how we can use it to deal with, uh, with JSON add uh, everything, a um, lot of outputs that we have are in JSON. I think that uh, this is a good idea to uh, have it in its uh, tool kit. So this is uh, the, the, the game of uh, today. And in the second part to do that with uh, JQ, we are going to look at uh, the command connect provided by the script um, startup uh, rec test that uh, do it in another way using uh, grep, read, uh, tr, and uh, other uh, uh, well-known uh, Unix tool. So let's go. 
we want to connect the node 1 to the node 2 so we use the subcommand connect and we are going to first look at the main page of uh, this command so here we have the synopsis so it takes id maybe a host and a port here depending on how we write the first uh, id so id represents the target's nodes public key okay we have uh, it here and here we can pass id at host or id at host colon port so this is the one that we are going to use uh, uh, today so we want to connect to the node uh, to the node 2 so we need the information about the node 2 so here are the information that we want jq just for uh, for the the color so here we need the id which is uh, this one and we need uh, things that are in binding so we need to address and port so we are in uh, on local host and the port is 7272 we copy this uh, id and here the command is we have this one connect and now we connect to the id at 127.0.0.1 7272 and we have it so we are connected to uh, to the node with the id uh, 037 so we, we give the, the id we have the feature we are using and direction out is because we make the connection to the node 2 so we we did what uh, we wanted to do is uh, a simple add uh, getting the information with get info of the node 2 and passing it in the right way to the command connect um, uh, with the other node that uh, try to connect to uh, to the node uh, l2 we can uh, list the peer to see that uh, we, we we are really connected so we are connected to the node uh, 0374 we can do the same thing for the node 2 and uh, this one is connecting to the node 1 so we uh, this is uh, what we have and now uh, before jumping into the jq uh, part we can do, uh, do uh, uh, last thing is to disconnect uh, this uh, those two nodes so to do that we have l1 cli the command disconnect and as usual we're going to look at the man page that say okay to disconnect we just have to pass the id and the first is is uh, when we have a channel an active channel so if force is set then it will disconnect even with an active channel but we don't have any channel so this is not uh, our case right now so what do we need we need uh, what did we do before well, now let's uh, l2 cli get uh, info jq and we can get the id of uh, l2 we take the id and we passed it to we pass it to the node one to disconnect here and uh, as it's written uh, this uh, null data structure we are disconnected and we can uh, list peers of uh, l2 we have we no longer have peers and l1 no longer have peers so we're done with the specific uh, ln part and now we are just uh, going to play a little bit and add some uh, some uh, some not tool but uh, see it's the tooling uh, a little bit play with uh, how to to play with the command lines and specifically jq so let's go into it and 
first thing we are going to look at the contrib files which is startup rec test we have it so first here to see so this is the second time that we are uh, looking at uh, that uh, script and I highly recommend to read it if you if you're starting with um, with playing with uh, core lightning it's really uh, have a lot of uh, information and things that you want to do uh, with uh, CLN and it's done so short script to start up some local nodes with uh, with Bitcoin D all running on rec test so it make it easier to test thing out by n so we are interested in that command which is connect that do exactly uh, what we uh, we did manually so if we go back here we could have uh, written this one and two to connect the node one with the node two but we we don't do it uh, right now but um, uh, you know when you are testing you don't want to do everything we did uh, before it's not complicated but we lose time for uh, for uh, nothing if we want to test other part of uh, the software but let's go back uh, here so here we take the two uh, two argument and the command that uh, we run is this one okay so it's a uh, uh, LCLI at the beginning is lightning CLI uh, the the command we pass it the lightning deer so uh, in our case it, it was L1 uh, dash rec test we connect and we connect to so this is the thing that we did by end and this is done here uh, uh, programmatically so this Common line is the uh, is the common line uh, pretty uh, long, pretty large, but in, in several parts that we can see with uh, the pipe. So first thing we are going to to print it in a different way. Okay, so uh, this is something that I did just before. I have the command that uh, that uh, change the output, and we can do that, that, and now. It is uh, for each line we have a, a part of the, we have a pipe. Okay, so if you've never tried the dash f, um, what is called the, the dash f argument uh, flag of uh, C light, uh, Lightning CLI, we can look at it right now. So let's say we want the info, and we do nothing. We get. A JSON, uh, a JSON output. Now, if we pass dash f, we have everything online, and uh, this is uh, handy for many uh, many um, Unix tool that we are uh, already uh, used to to uh, to, uh, to utilize. So, for instance, here each line can be separated separated in two fields with the with the delimiter uh, equal and so we can do uh, the things that are done in the connect uh, command here the binding you see that uh, the attribute binding as as uh, as value an array with one uh, object uh, and this is representing represented sorry up i missed something okay so we are here and we have uh, this is representing like this with the same the same syntax as the uh, jq so let's go back here and see the second part so the second part uh, what we want to do in that command is to return an id at an address colon port so Everything that is done before is, uh, is in order to do that, return that, in order to put it as an argument, uh, the last argument of the um, of the command connect, like Lightning CLI, blah blah blah. Okay, so we can just look at this to see what uh, it does, and this is get info. We want the thing uh, flatten, and we have that. So. 
uh, from that output, you can uh, uh, see what we want to do after. So we have uh, the delimiter. We are going to, to take only the right path. Then we are going to, um, here we can see we, uh, we take the right path. Here after we translate new line to a white space in order to bind ID, address and port to here the so we we see uh, the thing uh, here so we have a uh, port address and uh, everything so this is what does uh, this part and i want to show you how we can uh, do this with uh, jq so you can see it's not uh, really related with uh, core lightning but uh, this is a, a tool that uh, that thinks uh, is uh, really useful and uh, highly powerful. So we already did this before. No, okay. See, yes, because I don't pass it anything. So get info on we get the ID. Okay, so the attribute ID dot ID. Now, if we want, we have the dash R that um, will uh, um, remove the double quote so when you want to use that output uh, as uh, the input of another command this is uh, the thing uh, to do we don't you we don't want to have the double string now the other thing we 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 needed before the id we also needed the address and the address we can have it here so binding the first element of the array and we want the attribute address that uh, we have here now we have the address so this is cool we can get also the port um, uh, pay attention right now uh, the port is a number so it's written the um, the thing returned uh, have no no double quote and is treated as the number uh, in a JQ program. So we will uh, we have to pay attention uh, to um, to that. And if we want the syntax in JQ to to do that to to cast it to a string is that one. So the the pipe in a JQ program will pipe the, the output of the previous one to the second one. So uh, you see that now we have the double quote. So this is what we want to use inside our uh, JQ pro, uh, program because there's one last part that we need is the capacity to concatenate uh, things. So we'd like to have the ID and to concatenate with the at and this is possible with the plus sign and the plus sign uh, in the JQ program has to, to be done uh, between object of the same type. So you can see at the end that we add an at uh, character. So we almost, uh, we, we are almost uh, done with that so we can Continue. So now we uh, take the binding zero and we want the address. We have the address and now we uh, want the colon. We want to concatenate this with the port, but the port uh, not that we have to cast it to uh, a string. So to string and the last thing that we have to do is to close the program run it and we uh, we have it so this is exactly what uh, we wanted to do uh, there we can pass a uh, dash r but it's not uh, uh, we don't have to do it uh, right now so now if i copy this and i do l1 cli connect to this this should work and it works and uh, this is 
what I wanted uh, to do with you in the last part. So JQ is really an amazing, uh, an amazing tool that uh, you might want to, uh, to integrate in your, uh, in your toolkit. The main page, uh, you have everything you want in the main page. Uh, this is an amazing uh, main page. It's, uh, I think it's uh, five, six hours of reading and uh, doing uh, some of the stuff, but it really, uh, it's, it really pays off uh, in, the, in the short run and in the long run. And uh, that's all I have to, to share with you uh, today. I hope you get some value from uh, this video and uh, see you next time in the next episode of Ellen Room.